Hey everyone, FB here to bring you a cast of the BA Championship 2015 Belgian GP. This event is hosted by the Black Angel team and will last for about one hour. Pit stops will be necessary for the drivers to refill their fuel during the race and they also have to make sure to avoid getting penalties by crashing or driving outside of the road which will require the player to visit the pit stop an extra time. If you want to participate in one of these races then you'll have to download the Stadium F1 title pack and simply get on the server before it starts. And as we are waiting for the race to start, let's take a look at the current rankings. 10 races have been played so far with Marius89 continuing to be the current leader having collected 304 points. And then we have a big gap down to second place which is Edster with 174 points followed by Shuck at third place with 157 points. We have Sopra at fourth with 144 points, then Losco is at fifth with 131 points. Lars is found at 6th place with 94 points and then we have Major at 7th with 91 points. El Wormo is at 8th with 89 points followed by Demon who is 1 point behind and lastly MC Robert is the last player in the top 10 with 85 points. And we are about to start uh, this race, uh, the warm up is over so good luck and fun to the players and of course Marius89 is playing in this race and uh, should be regarded as the main favorite. Uh, besides him, we also have uh, Edster driving and Shuck. Uh, Sopra, as you can see, is on the server but not driving this time, I think at least. So he might drive. He's no longer in the spec mode, but uh, we'll see. The race is live though and let's follow Marius89 as we go through the first corner and he will immediately take the lead together with Shuck. And Edster is at third place so the three players I mentioned are the ones with the best start. Besides those we also got Sauron, Nitrus, Lars, Rio Salvador, Stereo Gang and MC Robert playing. So Sopra is not driving, he is in spec mode. And uh, we can also take a look at the local wreckage. Shaq got the fastest time, 116.29, followed by Edster with 0.86 and Marius89 with 0.87. Those are the only players under 117. And as I mentioned, the race will take about one hour. Uh, there will be 45 laps this time, uh, which is going to be 270 checkpoints in total. Uh, six checkpoints per lap. And you can see to the right how many checkpoints the players have passed. Uh, four checkpoints so far. Um, usually takes about one hour but since this track is a bit longer uh, I believe it will take uh, uh, maybe like 15 minutes extra to complete something like that. As you see Edster with a nice turn will pass Marius89 and go up to first place. And he will extend his lead as well. Good exit there from Edster. Builds up a lot of speed over this long stretch. This track got um, a lot of uphills and downhills, which uh, makes it uh, kind of tricky sometimes uh, to uh, time these corners correctly. But uh, yeah, Edster with a good lap so far. Continues to drive well and uh, Seems to be ahead of Morris A9 with about one second. And then uh, no one else is close. Shuck seems to have made uh, some sort of mistake. He's uh, actually behind Sauron at fourth place. We'll pass him now though and go up to third place. Uh, then we have Nitrus at fifth. We also already see uh, big time differences between these players and they will only get larger, larger of course. Uh, so a lot of these players will be overlapped by uh, the top players. So yeah, Nitro's at 5th, Real Salvador is at 6th, not too far behind uh, his teammate from Ultimate F1 Racing, who of course also organized a F1 type uh, event. Oh, and uh, Nitro's will crash, Real Salvador can pass him, and I believe also MC Robert, who of course is the organizer and uh, is the one who uh, creates these uh, custom-made uh, tracks with the uh, custom-made objects. 
and you can see the fuel uh, widget to the right here is currently in the yellow section once it goes down to the red one uh, the players will get a message saying they have to visit the pit stop and uh, the screen will then eventually turn black as well and once it turns pitch black you will have to respawn so you gotta make sure that you enter the pit stop while you can still see where you are going uh, so it's still gonna be a couple of laps before we uh, see the players entering the pit stop for the first time and looking at the top it's to now having fallen down to second place again Morris 89 takes over the lead and uh, yeah Morris 89 on uh, on his way to win this season uh, he's already with a big lead of course, uh, in this uh, tournament, every result counts uh, in the total standings. So, as long as Morris A9 participates in the rest of the races, I believe he will uh, likely take first place. Esther, of course, at second place, uh, one of the players that could maybe challenge uh, Morris A9 for the overall title. Yeah, pretty uh, big gap down to Shaq, who I actually thought would maybe be able to fight for first place. Of course, it's still far from over, and uh, with this penalty system, a lot can happen. If you get a penalty, then uh, you will lose a lot of time. Uh, 30 seconds or so, maybe even more. Um, this track, though, doesn't strike me as uh, that difficult of a track. Um, I played it a bit before uh, the race started, and... Uh, there aren't really too many places where you could uh, get a penalty unless you uh, you're not uh, maybe as focused maybe in those uphills or downhills uh, it could happen or maybe in this uh, this place if you uh, mistime your break possibly still continues to be close between Morris A9 and Edster. Hopefully it's gonna continue to be uh, close. Uh, hasn't really been that many uh, close fights in a while. Um, I remember Morris A9 had a really close battle with uh, a player a while back. I don't remember who it was though. Uh, here if I can find who it was uh, real quick yeah it was uh, Shumi actually in one of the earlier races that was probably the closest one so far so we've passed 27 checkpoints now out of 270 in total still uh, very early on in this race see if you have any other <laughs> Sorry, if you have any other close fights, uh, Shuck seems to now have built up quite a significant lead over Sauron. So it's no longer close between them. Real Salvador is also on his own. MC Robert is the closest one, but uh, he seems to be nowhere close at actually. Uh, then we got Lars at the next position. Seems to also be... Uh, oh, actually, it's kind of close between Stereo Gang and Lars. As you see, Stereo Gang taking a bit of a shortcut. Uh, you got to be careful with taking those uh, shortcuts over the grass, though, because sometimes that might give you a penalty, depending on where um, MC Robert put the, the markers for it. As we see Stereo Gang getting the pit stop uh, message, so he will enter the pit stop now. And uh, he will have to stand still here for a couple of seconds before he can continue driving. And again, this is also what you have to do if you get the penalty. So Stereo Gang is uh, exiting the pit stop. And will continue driving. Uh, Morris A9 though, still haven't entered it. He will do it now, I believe. Yes. Sometimes, uh, depending on where, you, when you get the message, you can take one more lap before the screen turns completely black. But it looks like this time uh, that was not the case. So Marius into the pit stop. And uh, following him 
will be Edster, who seems to actually be a bit further behind now. We also see that Shaq is uh, in the pit stop, leaving it now. Much closer to Edster than uh, what he was earlier. So maybe Edster crashed or something uh, shortly before entering the pit stop. That is uh, possible. And Sauron is uh, keeping up here. He's not that far behind from the, the podium. So uh, if he keeps this pace, maybe there is a small possibility for Sauron to get a top 3 position. Can't afford making those kind of uh, faults though. Will uh, lose his speed driving over the border. Which uh, is something that happens pretty frequently on these kind of tracks. Uh, these uh, borders here on the side can be kind of buggy so uh, you want to make sure to avoid them as much as you can. That's not going to help Soren improving his position. Let's follow Shaq for a while, see if he can uh, get any closer to Edster. Oh, okay. I think he could have gone through that corner with a bit more speed, but Edster uh, may have lost even more speed compared to Shaq as the players will enter another lap. 43 checkpoints now having been passed. And it is Marius89 in the lead. The current... Uh, Total uh, total rankings leader as well, dominating as usual as we see the players uh, overlapping a player, which is Racer James. Esther keeping the same distance down to Shaq, not much of a difference as we go downhill. But uh, one uh, blunder here from Edster. And Chuck could uh, rapidly catch up to him and take over that second place. It's uh, especially important on these tracks that you uh, exit the corners with uh, a lot of speed. Since uh, there's a lot of stretches on these tracks. In general, uh, Formula 1 tracks got a lot of stretches in them, so... And here seems to be a kind of a risky play since you have to drive over the border quite a lot. But maybe uh, MC Robert made it uh, less buggy at that place. It's possible. Oh, and we also see Edster actually gaining the first local record. 116.28. Very, very good time there from Edster. We'll pass uh, Shaq with 100 of a second. Shaq cannot be happy with that. Let's see if he will... Uh, Strike back and take over the best lap again. No bonus points though, uh, if you take the best lap. It's only your uh, position in the race that matters. See how far ahead Morris89 is now. Um, see here if you can time it. It's actually uh, quite far ahead now, about two corners or so in front of Edster. So it once again looks like Marius89 will get the most amount of points. And of course with that continues to extend his lead in the total standings. Another lap is entered now. 54 or 55 checkpoints having been passed. Again the total is 270 so we are still early into this uh, Belgian GP of the BA Championship 2015. This is a endurance race hosted by the Black Angel team uh, played on these custom made F1 uh, tracks created by uh, MC Robert. If you want to play in these races you have to install the Stadium F1 title pack. Uh, but uh, otherwise no registration is uh, needed to participate, just get on the server before it starts, and it always starts at 9.30 p.m. CST. Um, the days are different though. It uh, will always be on the week after the real uh, Formula 1 race takes place, but the days will be different. Uh, this time it was on Tuesday, but sometimes it could be on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday even. 
just gotta make sure that you uh, check their website for uh, updates. Oh, okay, it's Sir with a risky trajectory over the border. Did not lose any speed though. So it seems like that part isn't actually that buggy. Ooh, we'll get a nasty no drift entering the next lap. But no shock is seen. He has made a mistake of his own. And so Edster will keep that second place. He could have had a much bigger lead though had he not gotten that uh, no drift. But a mistake from Shuck and Edster is now looking to take that second place. As he is about to overlap Nitrus or Nitrus for uh, Ultimate F1 Racing and uh, will do so in the following turn. You can see Morris89 through the wall. Let's follow him for a while. The current leader. And we are about to see the players entering the pit stop for the second time. Um, I think someone wrote in the chat that there would be nine checkpoints, uh, or not checkpoints, pit stops in total. Which uh, is uh, quite a lot, but again it's because the race is a bit longer than usual. Once Morris 89 finishes though, there will be a 10 minute timer. And considering the race is so long, I don't think we will see all of the players uh, finishing usually pretty close uh, when uh, it's about one hour in length but at the same time the track is not too difficult so maybe that will mean that uh, they all will finish we see that MC Robert and Lars both improved their best times 121 by MC Robert and 1.19 by Lars as Maurice 89 will get the pit stop message and he is uh, He's uh, not too close to the next lap, so I believe he will enter it on this lap, and not take the risk of uh, driving through another lap. Still with a massive lead over Edster. Actually, it's not that massive. It's five seconds, which isn't too much. We've seen much bigger leads uh, before. All right, here we go. Morris89 entering the pit stop for the second time. Avoids the wall, will not lose any time there. And uh, gets to the crew who uh, will fill up the fuel for him. And also make sure that he can see through uh, the <laughs> fake window. That's important. Edster exiting the pit stop now. And where is Chuck? He is still behind with about the same amount of time and Sauron is nowhere to be seen he will actually get the um, fade to black there so he was kind of close to having to respawn but able to reach the pit stop in time so he's not gonna lose any additional time real Salvador also with uh, fade to black perhaps I believe so but uh, close to the pit stop as well so no issue here for real Salvador Lars and MC Robert are actually really close to each other they will also reach the pit stop in time though it is kind of close Lars hitting the wall a bit here's Nitrus he's uh, entered the pit stop already possible that he got a penalty which uh, would be the reason. Here's Stereo Gang, also with a full gas tank, so he's on a different uh, schedule compared to the other players. And then Razor James uh, is uh, trying to drive as slowly as possible in this race, and I think he's doing a pretty good job of it as we see Esther and Chuck passing him. And uh, maybe Shuck is actually closer now to Edster. Looks like that is the case. So a possible blunder from Edster allowing Shuck to get closer to him. So we might see an exciting battle for second place here between Edster and Shuck. I'd say first place will go to Morris A9 already now. 
Uh, he's not really known for making any uh, silly mistakes. I don't think he's ever done one in this uh, race. And as long as he avoids those penalties, then he should have this in the bag. So the interesting uh, fight here is definitely Esther versus Shuck. So we'll try to focus on that one. And also close between Lars. Oh, Lars with a penalty! Unless this is a bug, sometimes it's uh, not showing correctly. But if it is correct, then Lars will lose a ton of time. And MC Robert uh, will uh, have no trouble defending his sixth position. Yeah, it looks like Lars might have actually gotten a penalty because he was really close to MC Robert and now he is far, far behind. So. Huge error here from Lars, entering the pit stop again. And as I mentioned previously, that's gonna cost him uh, up to 30 seconds. Which is not what he needed. Alright, back to Shuck. And uh, his quest. To try and catch up to Edster. And every time I switch to him, it's, uh, it seems like he's closer. Uh, less than one second now, even. So a good job here from Shuck, catching up to Edser. As we see, Sauron with a pretty good time, 118.16, only two seconds away from the fastest time. And the players have now passed 88 checkpoints. We see uh, Shuck's teammate, MC Robert, being overlapped. Shuck uh, going as much to the right at the exit of uh, this last corner before the next lap, trying to build up as much speed as possible. And as you can see, he avoids going too much to the left in the next corner, I believe, because if he goes more to the left there, he will get a penalty. Otherwise, obviously, you would build up even more speed if you could go uh, outside of the track there. And I believe if Shuck can keep up this pace, then... Oh, Edster with a horrible no drift! Second time we see that no drift from Edster, and Shuck will take advantage of it, goes up to second place. Gonna continue to be close though between these two players. It's there only half a second or so behind Chuck, but of course, this kind of overtaking could uh, could make a difference. As we see, uh, Esther losing a bit of speed already, so Chuck can take the lead with a few seconds. And uh, yeah, Shaq up to second place now, has won the race uh, before at least once this season, I'm fairly certain of. Usually finishes uh, close to the top three, together with uh, Sopra, and then also of course Morris89, Edster, and we also see uh, Demon and Shumi being successful, though they don't participate as often. Alright, yeah, it seems like uh, Shuck is driving a bit better than Edster at the moment. It was uh, really close between them for a long time, but now uh, that does not seem to be the case. Shuck is now four seconds ahead of Edster in just uh, one lap, or even less than one lap. And of course. Uh, the player that benefits the most from all this is Morris89, who is, uh, let's see how many seconds. He is six seconds ahead of Chuck, so it's not that much uh, in front, actually. Uh, I think he was about five seconds ahead of Edster, like 15 minutes ago, so. He's still uh, adding up to his lead, but it's not uh, that comfortable of a lead for Morris A9. I can definitely see him still losing that first place as we see him getting the pit stop message for the third time. 
We've also passed over 100 checkpoints now. And Return real Salvador the is about to be overlapped. Oh, oh, Marseille 9 with a uh, really wide line. Was not enough though to get the penalty. If you uh, practice the track a lot, then you can notice where those uh, penalty markers are uh, positioned. So you can know where you could uh, drive over the grass and uh, maybe build up a bit more speed as a result. So it's actually really important to know that kind of stuff. Oh, I think he might have... Uh, might have um, brushed the wall for entering the pit stop, but it's not gonna lose him too much. Actually, seems to be a bit in front of, uh, a bit more in front of Shaq now. Yeah, eight seconds in front of him. As we see, MC Robert with uh, sixth local or oh, sixteenth local record, one twenty point oh six. Chuck is uh, out of the pit stop once more on his quest to now catch up to Marius89. It's uh, not able to keep his uh, early pace and uh, is forced to lose one position. Very likely though that he will still get on the podium unless he will get an invalid time because apparently he is driving this race uh, from a hotel room so the connection might not be... Uh, that uh, stable. Could still see him uh, coming back from this though, it's not completely out of the picture. At least uh, to take uh, second place. Yeah, it seems like driving over those borders won't really get you punished. Oh, and they're hitting the wall. Good place to hit the wall, though. It didn't really lose any time with that. Maybe a few hundreds or so. And you can still see Shuck. So, uh, that's good at least. Might uh, give him a bit of a motivational boost. As we also see that Stereo Gang has left the server, so one player down at least. Let's see if the others are still driving. Sauron is playing at fourth place. Real Salvador is at fifth. MC Robert is at sixth. Lars is at seventh. Nitris is at eighth. And also Racer James is uh, still sort of driving. Uh, so yeah, Stereo Gang, the only player having quit so far. That's good at least. One hundred and twenty checkpoints having been crossed so far. It's there going into the next lap, and uh, the trend seems to be that he is actually catching up to Shuck again. Definitely closer to him than a couple of laps ago. So still fairly exciting here in the top, and then uh, Morrissey nine. Keeping that 8 second lead over Shuck. Here he is. Probably keeping uh, an average uh, time of uh, 117 or so in each lap. As we see Sauron improving his local record again, 117.68. Now only being about one second behind the fastest time, so... Sauron showing that he uh, isn't too bad on this track either. Maybe uh, 
Didn't practice it, practice it too much though, considering he is setting these uh, personal bests in the race. Oh, looks like Stereo Gang had a disconnect, uh, so that's why uh, he's no longer playing. That's unfortunate. Uh, yes, if you want to play in this race, you have to download the Stadium F1 title pack in the Mania Planet store. Uh, but that's all that's required to play these tracks and to participate in the race as well. No sign up is needed. And um, there is no way to see which lap they are on. You can see though how many checkpoints they passed at the right, which is 129. And uh, before the race starts, I calculate how many checkpoints there are in total. So there are 45 laps and 270 checkpoints in total. So based on that, you can kind of figure out how deep into the race they are. I wish there was a lap counter, but uh, unfortunately that's uh, not possible in this... Uh, using this plugin. Players uh, entering another lap again, and now Edster is uh, a bit further behind Chuck. Actually, quite significantly, significantly behind him as well. So uh, might have made a uh, big mistake. Lars now having been overlapped by uh, his German fellow, Marius89, who's on his way to win yet another race. And we are about to see uh, the fourth pit stop fairly soon, maybe uh, one more lap. be played for uh, 30 minutes now so we are about halfway through um, but since this uh, course is a bit longer than usual it's gonna be maybe like 15 minutes extra or something like that all right here's the message for Marius 89 who plays for our Soniac recently attended the uh, offline uh, Trackmania event, uh, The Nest, which was organized by Esuba. Uh, Mars 9 was knocked out in the first round in that event against the, the, um, the winner, turned out to be winner, Tween. It was kind of a close match though. But since it was uh, single elimination, Morris A9 was uh, out in his first match. Really cool uh, system though that uh, that tournament used. With uh, unknown tracks revealed at the event and with uh, different paths that you could take. So, really cool. Alright, here is the next pit stop. Getting that window cleaned once more. A lot of uh, pollution in the air, so gotta make sure that you are, uh, your visibility is uh, good. Shot going really wide at the exit, but looks like uh, that is possible, no penalty. Uh, are the tracks for download too? Uh, no, unfortunately uh, you can only play them uh, through the title pack. You can't um, find them on Mania Exchange or anything like that. You can like save a replay and uh, play it that way I think, but uh, yeah I think they are deliberately made so that you can only play them on the server.
All right, let's see if we have any difference in... Uh, oh, uh, wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought Edster was at second, but no, Shuck is still at second. And Edster still at third. And it seems like uh, Edster is losing more and more time here. And uh, let's see what the difference is between Mars A9 and Shuck. Just looking at the checkpoints here. It's still 8 seconds, so Shuck is keeping the same pace as uh, Marius. Which still gives him a small chance to take first place, but it probably will require Morris A9 to make a uh, pretty big uh, blunder. Or uh, maybe even a penalty, as we see Shuck mistiming that corner. Gonna lose him a bit of time, maybe up to one second even, since it's, it is a long stretch. So, uh, Morris A9 now in front with... Uh, a bit more, let's see how much it is. It's nine seconds now, so yeah, Chuck losing about one second with uh, from doing that mistake. Not what he needed. Um, oops. Ed Sodo is uh, far, far behind. Didn't really catch up much. So yeah, if I can figure out how far behind he is. Uh, it's about nine seconds behind Chuck, I think at least. So it looks like it's no longer going to be uh, a close battle for that second position. Let's take a look at the other players. Sauron is still at fort and he is in no man's land. No one is close to him. Will Salvador is the next player at fifth. But as you can see, he is at a completely different uh, spot on the track. MC Robert also at a different place, at 6th place, Lars is at 7th, he might still be kinda close to MC Robert, but still uh, not really that close. Nitrus is at 8th, seems to be far behind Lars, and then of course Razor James is uh, doing his own thing at 9th. Chuck about to enter yet another lap, 162 checkpoints. So we got about 100 more for the players to cross. Let's follow the current leader for a lap or so. Uh, besides uh, this uh, event, I'm also going to try and cast uh, the recently created Paragon League Chase Cup. Uh, the first, uh, well, the first cup was played last Friday, with, but that was kind of like a test. The real first cup will be uh, tomorrow, actually. Not sure about when uh, it starts, but um, yeah, for those who don't know, Chase, um, it's a new game mode created by Nadeo themselves where you play in teams uh, and where the first player or the last player to cross a checkpoint will have to be the first player to cross the next checkpoint and whoever uh, got a three checkpoint lead or finishes first after five laps will be the winner. So I'm gonna try casting that and see how it is. As we see Mario 9 actually crashing there so maybe Shuck can uh, Gain on him, gain on him at least a little. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna cast that tomorrow and see how it is uh, from a caster point of view. And then uh, I'm also of course casting uh, Stadium Team Championship on Sunday. Team Acer will play 
uh, once more and they are facing off against uh, Fury I think in the first match so that should be cool and then on Monday Nations Cup will take place but since I'm actually going away early on Tuesday I might, may uh, skip the first play day of Nations Cup since otherwise uh, I probably wouldn't get much uh, sleep before my trip but we'll see so that is kind of the the schedule moving forward you can see the schedule uh, below my stream as well all right it looks like Shaq is now only five seconds behind Morris 89 so he definitely is catching up so this could be kind of interesting as we are uh, more than halfway through the race Yeah, Shaq now below 5 seconds even, so he is gaining for each uh, Shaq point. Return immediately to the Good pit. stuff by Shaq, <laughs> by Shaq, as uh, we get the warning message again. So the players will enter the pit stop for... Uh, the next time we'll see them do it a couple of more times before the race is over so here we go Shaq uh, no he's gonna hit the wall that will cost him a bit but not too much So, Mario's 89 staying in front, maybe with uh, 6 seconds or something like that. Let's see here. Yes, 6 seconds now after that uh, mistake by Shaq hitting the wall. But he can definitely not feel safe with this lead. Gotta make sure he is driving uh, fast enough to keep this lead. Let's see where Edster is. He is uh, still pretty far behind. Uh, six seconds behind Shaq now, I think. Or maybe, no, wait a minute. That was not uh, the same checkpoint. Uh, he's 17 seconds behind. Wow. Uh, so Edster is uh, continuing to lose more and more time. So he's out of the picture. For taking uh, first or second, but we'll take uh, third at least since he is three checkpoints ahead of Sauron, and that is quite a lot since the track only got six checkpoints in the total. Oh, Shuck seems to have crashed, or maybe I'm uh, wrong about that, not sure. Looked like he had low speed though, we'll see. Yeah, he's seven seconds behind now. Cannot afford that. And soon 200 checkpoints having been passed. 41 uh, minutes has uh, been played. Whoa, what was that? Looks like Morris A9 got stuck on the border. And that was kind of a bad spot uh, to get that as well. As you can see, Sauron ha here got a much more speed than Morris A9. So that uh, should mean that Chuck is catching up. Let's see in the next checkpoint. Um, yeah, looked like he was uh, around five seconds now, so he gained two seconds on Morris A9 just by that, uh, just from that. So a lot can still happen here. So 
Sauron is, I believe, one lap uh, behind. Yes, so... Uh, about one minute and 16 seconds behind Maurice A9 at uh, fourth place. And Chuck is now back to being six seconds behind Marius. It's back and forth. Had he not made those uh, two mistakes in the previous lap, then he would have been, uh, I guess, like three seconds behind only at this point. So it just shows that it's so important to be uh, consistent, minimize your mistakes. Pretty good exit there from Morris A9. Let's see how Shaq does it. He will go a bit wider, so I think he built up slightly more speed and uh, may be able to, to gain a couple of tenths from that. Let's go through the players again. Edster is at third, of course. Sauron is at fourth. Real Salvador at fifth. MC Robert at sixth. Lars at seventh. With uh, the screen turning black, but he will have just enough time to reach the pit stop and uh, avoiding the respawn with that. Then we got Nitrus at eight. Uh, will pass Lars. I believe, unless he is on a different lap. Uh, he, uh, no, he's not actually. So he will pass Lars and go up to seventh. I don't know if Lars maybe got a penalty or something because the last time uh, Lars was far in front of Nitrus, I'm pretty sure. So we will see uh, Nitrus gaining a position. And racer James still at ninth place. Uh, very likely not going to be able to finish this one though. All right, back to Shuck, and following his uh, his hunt of Marius 89. Uh, now he's losing time again. He's almost eight seconds behind him. Not going in, in the right direction for Shaq, unfortunately. And uh, well, we are not. Uh, we don't have that many laps left to go, actually, so. Time is running out for Shaq. And more and more, we'll have to rely on Morris A9 to get a penalty. Uh, to be honest, I cannot remember last time uh, he got a penalty, so not looking too bright at the moment for Shaq. Definitely not now when we see uh, Morris A9 improving his local record, 116.69. Great time from Marius. And Shaq now nine seconds behind, so he is losing more and more time for each checkpoint. And we'll see Marseille 9 entering the pit stop again in this lap. I believe he will enter it once or twice more. Return immediately to the pits. Last corner, uh, let's see if you can avoid brushing the walls. Looks like he will. No! <laughs> I think he hit it just before uh, the end there, so... Kinda cost him a few hundreds. And off he goes. Let's see where Shaq is. 
So he did uh, catch up slightly. He's uh, half a second closer now to Maurice A9, but still. Oh, ho, ho, and he hits the wall, exiting the pit stop as well. Just before this uh, super long stretch. So Shuck now, I'm gonna guess, will be about 10 seconds behind after that. That was really, really bad for Shuck. Might have been the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, he's about 10 seconds behind now and then gets a, a, <laughs> a bump from the border. The classic. And now we'll be maybe up to 12 seconds behind even. So yeah, that's gonna be it, I'm pretty sure. 220 checkpoints now having been crossed out of 270. Esther, I guess. Well, Esther got the same amount of checkpoints as Shaq, but I think he's still kind of far behind, though. Let's see here. Um, well, I guess I cannot say how uh, far behind he is by looking at these uh, checkpoints. It says he was one second behind, but that can't be true. I'm gonna say, well, actually, let's just uh, see here. Okay, here's Chuck and Edster will pass that point about now. So uh, I guess it's about 10 seconds or so behind Chuck. Oh, as Chuck is outside of the track, but once again, that is not a place where you will get a penalty. So uh, he will continue driving here. But yeah, if Chuck uh, gets the penalty, then he will definitely lose his second place. And of course, Chuck is at the third place in the total standings. Uh, he wants to catch up to, to Edster, who is at second, and uh, it would be good if he can take this. Uh, Second place, uh, of course, I think it's only a three point difference though between second and third, so won't matter too much, but uh, it's something at least. And um, yeah, I guess this race will actually take about one hour in length, um, I think. I thought it would be maybe a bit longer than usual, but I guess not. 51 minutes have been played so far. And uh, we only got about 40 checkpoints left to pass. Shuck, nine seconds behind. one point he was only five seconds behind but too many mistakes from Shaq and uh, we'll have to settle for second instead there is any closer oh, he might actually be a bit closer now yeah I think he is maybe seven seconds or so behind Chuck so this is still, still doable for Edster but it's not really in his own hands anymore. 
as he's passing Nitrus and soon also Lars. And yeah, they are actually on the same la lap here. Uh, so this is a kind of an exciting fight between Lars and Nitrus for seventh place. With Lars being in front. And Lars entering the pit stop now while Nitrus does not. And that's going to be very interesting depending on where the race will end. Nitrus will enter the pit stop one more time, I believe. And if the race ends while Lars is in the lead and before he needs to enter the, checkpoint, <laughs> the pit stop, then... Uh, Lars might be able to take that 7th place, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Morris A9 is actually two checkpoints ahead of Shaq at certain places of the track, so that indicates that Shaq might have made another major mistake. Uh, I think so, at least. And yeah, Edster is definitely gaining here on Shaq. Can he still make it? As long as Shaq continues to uh, crack, then there's definitely a chance for Edster to go up to second place. Only 20 more checkpoints though. They're getting the warning message now. I believe, uh, yes, they are all on the same uh, schedule here, so that's not going to play a factor. And this is going to be the final time that the players will have to visit the pit stop. The first one to do so is Marius89. Who hits the wall again, this time the one on the left side. And off he goes. Here is Chuck. And let's see how far behind Esther is now. Esther leaving the pit stop now. So he is only about three seconds or so behind Chuck. This uh, looks like it will be an exciting end to the race. At least when it comes to who is going to take second place. Let's continue following Edster. knows of course that there's not much left of the race uh, as long as the information I got is correct of course once uh, I got the wrong information and it turned out the race was not over but hopefully that's not the case now 257 checkpoints out of 270 Risky trajectory from Edster. Did not lose much time though. And I think he might have actually gained a bit on Shaq. Goes for a really wide line before this long stretch. But as you can see, Sauron had a bit more speed. So it wasn't too successful from Edster. And another bad turn there from Edster. 
Sauron once again with more speed. It looks like Chuck is not doing that much better though, and Chuck losing a lot of speed. Edster will pass him. Edster goes up to second place with just a few laps left to go. Chuck is down to third again. These players have exchanged this second place a couple of times during this race, and it looks like they will continue to do so. Chuck now back to second again after a minor mistake from Edster. Who will take second, Shuck or Edster? There's the oh, Edster hits the wall, but uh, did not actually lose too much with that. Good place to crash. As we enter another lap. Who's gonna build up the most amount of speed? Looks like it is Edster. Who is slowly but surely getting <laughs> very... Not much closer to Shaq here, that did not really uh, make much of a difference, but he is getting closer though, as you can see. Oh, okay. Ah, Shaq with more speed. Still in front. And there with a wide line. Once again, with slightly more speed than Shaq, here he comes. On the outer, he will pass him. Edster back to second once more. Cannot uh, drive safe though, needs to push it. And I believe this might be the last lap. Uh, let's find out. Morris A9 will finish and take first place. So this is the final lap. Edster right now at second place. But Shaq is right beside him. Oh, this is gonna be so close. Edster leaving the last corner and he crashes. And Shaq comes back with more speed. Shaq will take second place. Passing Edster just before the finish line. Holy macaroni. What an exciting end to the race. And uh, here we have Sauron, one more lap left to go. We'll take uh, fourth place, unless something drastic happens. But wow, that battle between uh, Edster and Shaq is definitely a highlight. Edster doing such a good job catching up to Shaq in the final couple of laps. But in the end was not able to stay in front and Shaq defeated him with, uh, let's see here, oh wow with 1900s, so uh, that was a really exciting end. So Maurice A9 of course taking first place once more, will continue to extend his lead in the total standings. I think he gets, uh, is it 33 points for first or something like that? Um, So yeah, he's going to be even further ahead of uh, Edster now, who will keep his second place. Shaq will stay at uh, third, but gets slightly closer at least uh, to uh, Edster. Here Sauron drives backwards into the finish, will take fourth. And here's Real Salvador at fifth. I'm also curious if it's still close between Lars and Nitrus. Looks like it might not be. Lars is one checkpoint in front, and we can see the timer also, 8 minutes left for the players to finish this race. Uh, let's see, uh, Real Salvador is on his last lap, so that should be enough time. And I think all players here should be able to finish except Racer James, only uh, across 48 checkpoints. Yeah, Lars is 8 seconds ahead of Nitrus now. I guess it's still possible for him to lose his 7th place, but if he can keep it together and stay on the road, then uh, he's probably going to stay in front. Also, uh, one uh, thing that I think is kind of interesting is that in these uh, maybe last 2 laps, you could actually take some uh, wider trajectories and like take the penalties, since uh, 
you would have enough visibility to f just finish the race and not enter the pit stop again. So if it is a close fight, then that might be something worth uh, considering. If it's allowed, I'm not sure if it is. Anyways, Real Salvador is uh, in the finish now. We'll take fifth, and here is MC Robert. Three more checkpoints to go. Six minutes left on the clock. Coming up to the final corners. And no trouble passing it, so MC Robert will take sixth. Let's see now how close is it between Lars and Nitris. No Nitrous in sight, so Lars on his way to take 7th position. Wow, that's a wide line. Nitrous seems to have... Uh, Lost even more seconds. Oh, no drift from Lars, but not gonna matter. Entering the final stretch and will finish at 7th. And here's Nitrous, not that far behind, but we'll have to settle for 8th. And uh, that's gonna be the last player. Race James is still driving, but uh, no need to wait uh, the five more minutes here so let's just uh, uh, summarize this race Morris 89 will take first place again and will with that further extend his lead in the total standings Shuck able to take second place after an amazing battle between uh, him and Edster all got decided in the end when Edster hit uh, the sign in the last corner so very exciting uh, finish then we got Sauron at 4th, Real Salvador at 5th, MC Robert at 6th, Lars at 7th, and Nitrous at 8th. We can also just take a look at the rankings uh, before we go. So Marius 8 9 will get, I believe, 33 more points. Edster also collecting uh, some points. Chuck will get slightly closer to him, but Edster keeping that second place at least for now. And then Sopra with no points, Losco with no points, Lars will get some points and get closer to Losco. Major did not play, neither it did El Wormo nor Demon, but MC Robert will collect a bit of uh, points here. And I believe he might actually go up to uh, maybe even 6th place. We'll see. But that's gonna be it for me, so thank you all for watching. See ya!